And then uh, what else? The the match with Metalik. Those guys were all good in that match. I will say Drew Gulak and Metalik and Lindsay Dorado and um, you know Gable. They were all. I mean, I don't know that. It, Dude, it mess- Shorty G was the best guy in that match by far. And what was funny was the story of the match was that he was the best guy in the match. AJ's on commentary talking about how he's the best guy in the match and he's going to win, and then he didn't. So it made me think that. Maybe they're actually going to do something with Shorty G. Like maybe do a short program on TV with AJ or something like that. I don't know. They sure yeah, pushed but, him strong. Yeah, but they've beaten him down for so long. They've beaten everybody and got, down. And he's got such a terrible... That name is terrible. The gimmick is terrible. He's a great wrestler, though. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I mean, he should be... He should be at least given a chance. I don't know where he should actually be. Um, but he should at least be given a chance to do something. Cesaro, too. Cesaro was really, you know. Um, so Big E looks like, it looks like Big E's going to get a singles push. Um, Kofi's out six weeks with an undisclosed injury, something rib-related. Is that is that from the table spot, or is that something legit? I don't know. He was he was holding his ribs. He said the doctor said he would be out six weeks, which is weird. Yeah, well, the, because hold, hold, holding holding his ribs though is is the is from the table is from is the work thing from the tables match though. You know, it's not like so. I don't know. You know, it could be it could be a cover. Well, the storyline is fake. So like, if he went in holding his ribs and he came out holding his ribs and he said he was going to be out six weeks, I would presume the story is it's his ribs. Which is oh, weird, line wise, of course, because yeah, Nikki Cross cracked her ribs. They said, and she wrestled on this show. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Biggie's going to get a singles a singles run. So that's cool. I mean, we'll see how that goes. That's been overdue for like three years now. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, it's overdue for half that roster. You know, I mean, that's that ro- You know, the the roster's filled with talent. I mean, you can't deny that. It's most of those, most of the guys on the show on, on, you know, there's, there's a few exceptions, but most of the guys on the show, when it comes to actually wrestling are very good. When it comes to promos, it's hit and miss, you know, and a lot of that's like with the Miz, you know, obviously like Miz and Morrison are great promos, but my God, you know, they were terrible on that show because, you know, it was who, who can be good with that material. Most underrated should be the entire WWE roster. Maybe you can rename that category. Underpushed. Uh, I, w- I, w- I wouldn't necessarily say underrated. Um, WWE, a lot of people are, are more overrated than under, but under, I mean, underutilized, I think, is better in the sense of because they, you know, again, they look at the weaknesses and, and, they come to the conclusion due to these weaknesses that you can't be a main eventer. You know, it's like that whole thing of like, um, well, we're trying to sign guys, you know, who can main event WrestleMania. It's like, well, how do you, how do you, how do you decide? I mean, like, the only way you decide is who gets over, and you don't know. None of us know who's going to get over unless we give them a chance. I know, I know. If you don't give them a chance, they won't get over unless it's. Some weird fluke Daniel Bryan thing that, you know, happens very rarely. Um, and But most of the time it doesn't happen. Most of the time, if you're going to get over, you need to be helped to get over. You need to be positioned to get over. And if you go in there with this mentality that unless you are, you know, a certain way, unless, you know, you can't get over, um, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and very destructive one. I'd like to note, by the way, that as I as I look back at this four way, Shorty G is the same size as everybody in that match. Well, I always love when Kayla Braxton's out there interviewing Shorty G, and she's like four foot ten, and he towers over. Her. Well, she is, but I'm, I'm talking about the other wrestlers on the show. He ain't that short. He's well, the I same remember, size as half of them. Well, I remember when when they would do the thing and making fun of his height when he was teaming with um, Mustafa Ali, and they were the exact same height. You know, one guy is, you make fun of his height, and the other guy's the same height. So, yeah, it's whatever. I mean, it's, look, it was Vince's idea months ago. He thought it was going to get over, and, you know. and He then couldn't he, really have thought it was going to get over, right? I mean, come on. I have no idea what Vince is thinking anymore. It's 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 a different Vince than, than before. I mean, it's like everything, everything that the 80s Vince was, this Vince isn't. That's just the reality of it. Um, 
it's the bitch you know he's the problem i hate to say it but i mean everyone knows it you know but it's like it's not it's not like it's a secret but it's 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 impossible you know and it's it's again i mean the the thing is 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 like you know people will blame you know it's it's it still astounds me it still astounds me that anyone will 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 go in there and and you know make excuses or when there's a Vince decision they'll somehow try to blame somebody else for the decision it's like you know i don't know it's like i mean i i guess i guess people are afraid to to say you know i mean people in the company are afraid to say vince and i and i can see why but you know still you got to know right you got to know